What is up, YouTubians? Kuda Malo here coming at you with, I guess this is part two of the iHealth PT3 infrared no-touch thermometer, forehead thermometer. If you saw in the previous video, and I will put a link to that other video down in the description below. Ooh, and guess what else is down in that description below? There is a link to my new Facebook page, Cooter Malloy Product Reviews. Make sure and visit that Facebook page if you like what you're seeing and follow me on there. Also here on YouTube, there should be a like button or a thumbs up button somewhere in this section. And over here somewhere, there should be a subscribe button. Go ahead and hit both of those two buttons if you like what you're seeing. All right, so in the previous video, you saw that I showed you what the instructions of the iHealth PT3 were. They're, they are basically telling you to take a reading about 1.18 inches or 3 centimeters away from a person's forehead of the person that you're trying to take temperature. The problem that I had with this is that if that person has been sweating, right, or they're wearing a baseball hat or that person might have long hair, sometimes the reading is inaccurate because the device is actually picking up on the temperature of the sweat, not necessarily the skin temperature. So if a person's hot and they're sweating, there's evaporative cooling going on because the body sweats to cool itself down. So that could be an indication that the person might also have a fever. You, you won't know until you actually get a more accurate reading. So what I did in the previous video was, if you noticed, I had, I had drawn that shape of the V in my ear, basically, right? So I took the temperature reading uh, more in my ear and I got 98.6, which is the most accurate you can possibly get. What I want to do right now is I want to show you an alternate way of taking temperature. Like I said, just in case the person had been, you know, sweating or they were wearing a baseball hat or they had long hair or whatever. So what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to clasp my hand like this, right? Just folding my, folding my fingers over for about 10 seconds or so. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the device, hold it that 1.18 inches or three centimeters away, have the person open up their hand or open up the hand myself. I'm going to press and hold the button like this, and I'm going to get 98.4 degrees, as you can see right there, which is definitely more accurate than, say, the back of my hand. So if I lick, right, I just licked the back of my hand. I don't know if you can see that moisture right there. See that glistening? And if I take the temperature right? 97.1. So you can see there's a huge difference between this device taking the temperature of the, of the sweat, right? That's on the outside of the hand versus actually taking, pressing and holding the temperature of the inside of the hand. So 98.7. So it's actually gotten a little more accurate, uh, you know, by just holding my hand a little bit longer. So that's something to definitely consider. Remember, you're not trying to to squeeze really hard and make a fist, you're just basically casually laying your fingers over like this and then using the device, this is a one press, one touch thing, right? So make sure you're that three centimeters away, open the hand, press and hold, and boom, 98.6 degrees, probably the most accurate you're ever gonna get. So like I said, just an alternative to taking the temperature on the forehead. Like I said, if a person was sweating, you saw me demonstrate it there. Let's do it one more time. So if I lick, if I lick the back of my hand, as you can see it glistening right there, you can kind of sort of see it glistening. If I try to take a temperature, you get 96.9. So it's definitely inaccurate. So just to show you physics at work, that the most, one of the more accurate ways of taking a person's temperature is either in that V shape of the ear, as you saw in the previous video, there'll be a link to that in the description below, or the way that I showed you now, which is basically have the person just, just clasp their hand for about, I'd say anywhere five seconds or so, you know, 10 seconds or so, basically try to stay that, you know, that three centimeters away, sorry, three centimeters away, have the person open up their hand, press and hold, and boom, you get your 98.6 degrees. So there you go. Cooter Malloy, remember to check down there in the description, there will be a link to my Facebook page. There's also that thumbs up button if you like what you're seeing somewhere around here and somewhere over here, there should be a subscribe button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will catch you guys on the next one. Stay safe. Try to prevent as much coronavirus transmission as you possibly can. Wear a face mask, all that good stuff and invest in a seriously good and accurate infrared, no touch forehead thermometer as this one is from iHealth PT3. Thanks, guys, and I will catch you on the next one.